this is the finished look of this wig. I absolutely love this hair, guys. Um, when I first got this wig, I was going to wear it straight, and I said, you know, let me do my little curl with my little straight ends. Guys, this is totally spring and summertime ready. This wig is glueless AF. I did not apply glue to this wig at all. This wig is perfect. So I'm gonna read this off my phone so you guys get all the specs. So this wig was sent to me from OMG Queen Hair. So this one is the Eva Longoria Ombre Chestnut Brown Yaki Lace Wig. Now this one is a uh, virgin Brazilian hair. It's a Yaki Bob. This is 14 inches long and it's 150% density. I wear an average to medium cap size. Uh, this is caps. This is cap construction D. Um, it's a lace front glueless wig cap. And this is a medium brown lace. It's pre-plucked as you guys saw and they did pre-bleach the front of the wig, wig as well guys they added an elastic band on this wig that I showed you guys in the beginning. So when I tell you guys that this wig is glueless, this wig is so glueless. Like this wig is not coming off my head. I can slide this wig back and uh, put it right back in place, which I will show you guys like I always do when it comes to these glueless wigs. Now I did check the specs on this unit. This unit I believe is about like $150 if you get it the way I got it, 14 inches. If you don't want this extra length, I always give you guys this recommendation. Go ahead and get it in 12 inches to save some coins. Guys, this is super pretty. They did a great job on the bleaching. I really didn't have to put powder on it, but you know me, I always gotta get all extra or whatever, so I did put powder on mine. Um, I feel like the color, the chestnut brown color is so popping, and the fact that this is that nice like bob look, so it's a little bit shorter in the back and comes out 14 inches up here, but I kinda think that it's all 14 inches all the way around, so I'll turn around and show you guys what the back looks like. Guys, I love this. You guys know I love yakky texture wigs. I love that yakky textured look. It does have those little fake ridge in it that some people hate, but I did put my uh, curler through and it kind of faded out a little bit, but I think overall that this looks very, very realistic. It looks like if you blew your hair out and got it like straight and this is what it would look like for my African American girls out there. Um, but I really like this. Like I, I, I love this a lot. And like I said, it's definitely a great wig transitioning from the fall. Well, we're in spring now, spring and summer. So it's definitely going to be a go-to. And the fact that you don't have to use any gluing products on this one is absolutely amazing. The only products that I use today, guys, I use my Aussie Headstrong Volume Hairspray. I use this just to kind of spray the hair after I curled it. Now, you guys can see that the curls kind of dropped a little bit. With yakky texture hair, light yakky hair, sometimes the curls, you have to kind of hold the curl curling iron on it for a few minutes and spray because the hair is so uh, thick that it just, it just does not hold the best curl. But for me, if you guys have watched me for a long time, I don't really like tight curls anyways. This is kind of my style I like to kind of half curl it well curl it and then straighten the air that ends out so it kind of like half curl it to give it more of like a, a fun messy look I hate that kind of uniform look I just feel like this looks more fun and when the wind hits you when you go outside it just gives you like that kind of like fresh breath of air kind of look if you know what I mean um, so like I said I use the Aussie instant freeze for the hairspray and then I use the Batiste dry shampoo I like this just because um, you know, sometimes the hair can have like a little bit of a, you know, real shiny look to it sometimes. So I like to dull it out sometimes with the dry shampoo. I mostly use this for synthetic wigs, but I did put a little bit on here just to give it a little bit of volume and a little bit of a, a textured look, even though it's already yakky hair, if you know what I mean. Um, and you guys ask me all the time, I did use the My First Wigs Flyaway Tamer. I use this all the time on any part of the hair that's going to give you flyaway problems. I do it right in the front right here, and then I also do it here. One thing about this one is that if you're going to use it, this one use it when you're done with this uh, uh, when you're done with the hot comb because if you put this if you put this on first and then put the hot comb over it's gonna give you that greasy slick look so I would say complete your hot comb method and then go ahead and put this down when you want to um, really flatten the and finish the look because if you do it the opposite way it's gonna give you like a greasy front so I did have that issue and I had to go back and dry it out with some dry, dry shampoo so just um, hot comb first and then use that after when you're done with the look. But overall guys, I think that this is very nice. Um I think they did a great job. The length is pretty. I think it looks great against my skin complexion. And the hair is, the wig is actually pretty affordable, guys, to be honest. So I can honestly say that. This company definitely provides really inexpensive wigs and really nice wigs. With this one, you get about, let's see, about like, you know, let's see, three, four and a half inches of parting space, five inches of parting space. And it goes from about there to here. So you get it around this little crown area, which is not bad at all. So you can go ahead and do a side part or do the middle part, which I did. I did show you guys that I went in right here and plucked a few hairs out because if I'm going to do a middle part I need it to be a clean middle part and I just have like a little baby hair right here which I'll probably just go and snatch the hell out because you know it gets annoying sometimes especially with the middle part style 
but overall guys i think this is really nice i do have a coupon code that will link down below for you guys if you guys want to save some money on this unit or any other unit from this company do not forget guys to thumbs up this video leave your comments down below subscribe and share this video with your friends and family people and i will catch you guys in a later one bye